Good morning guys, Unfrequented World. Just heading into the bush. I've got an hour and a half or so before Stan's going to meet me, so I'm going to head into the colonial site and just do some digging there this morning. And he's supposed to meet me here. He's got a, an appointment, so I'll be with him shortly. So we're going to start the day off by ourselves in the swamp. Grandmother always used to say, stop to smell the roses. And those are wild roses. So there's the 300 year old waterway and uh, right here is where they would have brought in canoes and stuff and that's where I'll be working hitting up this shoreline it's not an easy go but uh, somebody's got to do it and that's gonna be me so I just had to go into my wife's office and drop her phone off so this is what I call civilian dress and then when you get out here to the swamp things get serious you gotta start tucking things in <laughs> can't be no hillbillies going into the the office dropping stuff off, so, you know, got to look civilized. That being said, anyone who asks me where I'm going, I tell them I'm heading for the bush. Anybody who knows me knows that's where Gary spends his time. So I'm just kind of following a uh, beaver tunnel where they get in and out of the deeper water. And right at the back end of it here, I'm getting a pretty decent signal. There we go, 50, solid 50s. It's, I'm down there about a foot now. And it's uh, rough digging. <laughs> it's wet. Oh, I haven't been able to find it with the pinpointer yet though. Why, why can't I find it? Oh crap. So there's one boot, it's almost straight at the edge, I'm slowly sinking, and the other one just went under. So I've got a boot full of water now. I'm up to my blooming elbow here. There's the pile. I still can't find it. Listen to this, it's here. It's there. I think it's fairly big. But just so much swamp water and mud, I can't find it. Okay, I took the shovel, I dug around in there. I think I got it out. Oh yeah, I feel it. That's an ax. Oh, 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 oh. oh, look at the condition of that. Not even rusted. Down in there, 14 inches under the swamp where no oxygen could get to it. Look at that. Wow, that's a drop for sure. Look at that, it's like new. <laughs> I can see shiny steel here. Like that is crazy. Um, you know, just no oxygen in there, no corrosion. Oh man, Stan is gonna love that. And to think I just about gave up on that. I was right up to my elbow. I got a wet boot. Yeah, <laughs> it was worth it. Okay, we just came out of that channel there. I've followed it up around and I've got another signal here. Uh, just getting the faintest little grunt. So I took the top off and now I'm getting 53s. So kind of the same thing as the last one. So, huh, another axe head? I don't know. <laughs> well, I didn't bring the GoPro today, so I've got the camera propped up on a log. This is crazy. How deep this is. It just keeps going. I can't find it. I've been here 10 minutes.
Oh, there goes my other boot full of water. Jeez. Okay, I got it. Oh yes! Look at that! That's a, it's another but a gold button. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> I don't know if you guys can even see where I'm putting the. Look at! I've seen one of those. Not five feet from here. Oh yeah! I knew it! I can't believe it! I knew there was still stuff here. Look at this, guys! I'll show you. Another gold, triple gilt gold button, and this one's got the shank on the back of it. I'll... Oh, yeah! <laughs> Look at that. There's the shank, and there's the front. Oh, man. Absolutely amazing morning so far. So you guys have seen what I'm going through here. Look at this. Look at my arm. <laughs> I was up past my elbow looking for that one. Absolutely crazy. Good results though. So I've got to surmise that they had too much lip from this officer wearing the gold buttons here. He was just taking too much control of this trip and so they killed him and buried him here in this swamp, jacket and all. And I'm going to find the other dozen buttons that were on it. Let's get back at it. My first grade teacher always said I had the wildest imagination. Well, some of the stories that play through my head when I find this stuff. <laughs> but hey, that could have happened. Who knows? <laughs> oh, thought I had another one there. That was ringing up really good. But here's the difference. Right in the bottom of this uh, beaver trail is all sand. And this was maybe down there an inch in the sand. And you could see the oxidation that happens to these items when they're right at the surface like that versus the beautiful axe we pulled earlier. So, just an old square nail, but uh, still cool. Okay, this is the keeping it real portion of the show. So, this is the last square nail I'll show you guys, but pull that out of the same hole there, right in the middle, the deepest part. So, I don't know why they're in there, but I guess if you want to get the treasure, you got to get in where the frogs are. Hopefully, that's all that's in this water. I'd really hate to go home with typhoid fever. <laughs> God knows what's in there, and I hate leeches, but hey, this guy has gold in his pocket, I'm going back in. Look at that. I just took a break here, and I pulled the axe out to look at it. Look, at there's a maker's mark on this axe. JC, or something like that. Absolutely amazing shape. Oh, man, Stan is going to flip his lid. I'm not too far from the water now and the problem here is I'm walking on a grass mat and there is a signal here right into the 50s again I can't find it on the pinpointer the problem is that once you get through this top four inches of slime you break through and then it just goes like I could bury my whole arm the pinpointer just keeps sinking because we're on a grass mat and I I don't know if I push the item through or what, but I can't, I can't get it. Ugh. On to the next, I guess. That bugs me, but what can I can't do anything about that. And who knows how deep it is under here too, so you don't want to be messing around too much. So I've made my way up out of the swamp, just too wet and hard going down there. And I'm actually sitting on our uh, colonial site here, the roadway that goes through the bush. And I've got a button right there. So we missed this somehow. I'm using the Garrett AT today, so it's uh, not that it was really deep. It was probably down there six inches, seven inches. So just an old iron one, but it's got the drilled shank on the back, so that's old. Early 1800s, could even be late 1700s. And I think there's a design on there. I'll have to take the toothbrush to it. Oh, wow, look at that, guys. It's not iron nodules. There is actually a nice design on this button. Look at the intricate little design in between these flowers or whatever they are, the bigger pieces sticking out. Absolutely amazing. The detail, the workmanship is stunning on these old pieces. 
Nobody would handcraft a button like that in today's time. Amazing. And if you look at the shank here on the back, you can see what I'm talking about, where it's a solid piece. This button is forged as one piece. Um, and then they just drilled a hole through the square here on the back. So I've, I've made Stan wait here. I showed him the gold button, and I told him he's going he's gonna to like this. He's going to like the shape of this. Check that oh. out. Ah. And it's got a maker's mark oh, on it. Oh, wow. Look at the shape of that. Gary. 14 inches, oh. no oxidation. Gary. And there's a CJ or a JC. Yeah, they, they, the makers stamped them. They were yeah. subcontracted to be made to ship over here by different people in different countries in Europe. Can we and find the age on that? With oh, that absolutely. Stamp? Absolutely. That's 1700s. Though. Well, I couldn't believe there was, wasn't a speck of rust on that Just thing. But Google trade axe and then it'll tell you how they're made, how they make them even, the way they... That's... This, this I is... fell out of a canoe some when they were pulling something up or I mean that's wow. obviously that's like new <laughs> it's still that's, like new Wow. <laughs> okay quick roundup time guys there's what you've missed in the last hour and a half a couple more musket balls and all kinds of square nails and iron wiry bits and there's today's good stuff it's not a lot of good stuff but man it is good stuff the two old buttons including one gold one so this gold button here is definitely not the quality of the other one we found. It would definitely be single plate, where that other one was almost solid gold, but hey, I'll take it. That's, that's still a fantastic find. And then there's our second button, which uh, we've already taken a closer look at. And then, of course, the prize for today is the Colonial Axe with the Maker's Mark on it and not a pinch of rust. I mean, this thing is mint like it fell out of the canoe yesterday. Just amazing. Blows my mind. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me work today. It's 28 degrees out. Time to call it quits. So we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.